But it's got to be better than that in the final third for the Red Storm with how talented and how calculated the back line is for Craig Stewart's Providence. Constantine out wide. Constantine sends it in. Dangerous spot. Combination. And the flag is up. It's waved off. Came in off the foot of Matt DePero. The officials are meeting here. Was DePero on sides? Goal, Providence. The Friars strike first in the 15. Here. Here come the Johnnies. A chance here and on the right side. Duarte feeds it in and it's banged away. Boy, more from bang there, huh, John? Jeez. That was nasty. And now, great thought here on the far side. Beautiful ball played out wide. This cross taken by the wind. Look at that. The feed from Forrester. Miller bashing it away. Hey. Another free kick here for the England native Forrester. It's played in, and Miller taking it in. Siemenson just couldn't get the clean touch off. And Dangerous. Who scored last weekend six goals on the year. Forrester with a laser, now a header, eaten up by Colin Miller. Back. Official letting them play on. Constantine. Constantine with a rocket just over the cage. After, then we might be speaking about a different game right now. Oh, a turnover. Constantine playing it great. Brendan Constantine. Sharp tackle. And now the shot. Wilson stops it to keep it at 1-0. Brendan Constantine with another head of steam going towards the 18-yard box. Almost made something happen by himself. Wilson on the receiving end of that throw in. Here. It's Forster with the service. Miller off his line. 20 seconds left. Wilson, he's got to just put a prayer up. Header into the box. Miller eats it up. Six seconds on the clock. Another shutout. In Friartown, Providence earns 90 more minutes. A semifinal showdown with Georgetown on Wednesday. Back here, pitch side in Friartown. Sean St. Jacques here with you on the Big East Digital Network. Providence defeats St. John's in the Big East men's soccer quarterfinal. Craig Stewart, Providence head coach, is with me here at Chappie Field. Coach, another defensive battle for your squad, but once again, the talented back line made the difference. How big have they been all season for you and especially tonight? Uh, yeah, I think just a commitment to team defending and it's every guy really. Um, but taking a lot of pride in that of late and digging in at times and you know, everything kind of St. John's through at us, we were able to, to kind of manage. Um, but yeah, I think just a commitment team, team wise to defending. How important was it for your team to score early on? 15th minute goal to Perros in the right spot to give you guys the lead. Uh, yeah, it was an interesting one the way it kind of developed and we didn't really there wasn't a ton of chances either side really so it was kind of a little bit of a midfield battle and tough game they came with a good game plan and uh, made it difficult for us so uh, it turned a little bit of a, more of a, a scrappy game in the second half I don't know if the weather played a little effect in that as well but um, obviously to see it out and, and, and cling on to that one goal lead was huge. Another clean sheet Colin Miller how great was he tonight we talked about pregame how he can defend his position so well he did it again tonight. Yeah, I just think he's a uh, really good presence, uh, manages his box, you know, um, and he serves as kind of, uh, he kind of deals with. Um, I don't think he, I don't know if he made too many saves tonight, but I think it's just his overall game and presence has been huge uh, all season really, you know, so he's, he's really in good form and hopefully that can continue. How great was the atmosphere here tonight? Yeah, no, it's great, it's great. It's, uh, the fans really get into it, um, which I think both teams enjoy playing in that environment and you know, enjoy coaching in that, so hopefully again. It was a, a good game for them to watch, and um, yeah, we, we've had great support all year, so can I say thank you enough to the people who come out uh, at Anderson Stadium. Obviously, you're going to enjoy this one, but Georgetown is coming up next. How do you see that matchup playing out? Yeah, a very good team. Obviously, a very good team. No easy games right now. I think I said that going into the tournament. It was just no easy games, and obviously down at their place, so um, they had a good game when, when they played here. Fair play that they came back and, and managed to, to take one here, and then... Uh, went on the road to Creighton as well and, and found a way, so it is possible. You know, you've got to be committed to, to what you're doing, and um, you know, I think it'll be another good matchup. Coach, thanks for joining us, and congratulations. Thank you.